Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another episode of World of Custom Statues. So stay tuned. Hey fellow collectors, hope everybody had a good week like me. I'm back with a whole new list of custom statues for you guys. And if you are interested in the pieces or statues mentioned in the video, you can drop me a message on my Facebook account with a screenshot of the piece you are referring to. Please don't just say Wolverine or Spider-Man. I've covered a lot of them ever since I started this weekly episode last 2020. Anyway, link will be in the description below. You could also join the channel's Facebook group to browse more high-quality photos and more updated posts in regards to custom statues. I would also encourage you to share your statues or collection to the community or ask around for statues you are looking for. Anything statue related is definitely welcome in the group. So the group link will be in the description below as well. We have this American Carnage that is ready to ship. You are already looking at the prototype here and the flag is removable in case you are wondering so you can display Carnage as a regular Carnage. Next, we have Carnage's body, Venom. This is the American Venom version 1. Again, has the option to remove the cape. The vibe of Venom here is very similar to that of Carnage. Next is we have another American Venom and this time it's the version 2. Obviously has a different anatomy as the version 1 and of course the pose which is I like better in my opinion. Pre-order is also available if you are interested. Next, there's a few slots left available for this Namor. Easily gonna be the best Namor around. Also part of my top 10 Marvel characters that are in production this 2022. Comes with a lot of hand switchouts and two portrait switchouts. Next is we have this prototype reveal of a custom Rhino. This statue has been delayed due to they had to uh, redo some stuff or I think they redid everything. Uh, studio wanted it to be perfect and here we are now. Definitely gonna be a massive statue for sure. Sculpt looks pretty good and it comes with a torso switch out and a lot of portrait switch outs. Next, this Magneto on Throne is officially sold out and congratulations to everybody who was able to pre-order it.
Next, this future foundation Spider-Man is uh, ready to ship or probably has shipped already. This is actually featured in my top 10 Spider-Man related characters that is in production this year, 2022. You can check out that video if you want to check more Spider-Man related statues. Next, we have a prototype reveal for this Carnage. Although this is a prototype, the statue only comes as an unpainted statue or a kit. But at least you get to see what it could potentially uh, look like. Next, we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Spider-Woman. Comes from my favorite Spider-Man group. As always, comes with a very small base for easy displayability. And a pretty sick sculpt and a very beautiful portrait. Next, we have some more work in progress on the prototype of the Superior Spider-Man. The prototype will probably be revealed very soon. It's already looking pretty promising. Next is we have this diorama of Batman fighting the Joker. Probably the best representation of DC's uh, best lovebirds. Love all the portraits of the Joker. Definitely a must have for Batman fans out there. Next, I am selling pre-order for this uh, Carnage. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. So you are definitely getting a quality sculpt here. And you are already looking at the prototype. Next, we have a full reveal for this Thanos. This is probably the most comic accurate uh, custom Thanos so far. Comes with two portraits and two set of arms. And you get to choose if you want the classic color uh, version, which is a light blue version of Thanos, or the modern color, which is a uh, darker kind of blue. And look at the base, and that's damn amazing.
Next, we have a prototype of Venom fighting Carnage, two of the best symbiotes around. Next, we have a work in progress on an upcoming Incredible Hulk. Next, this sold out quarter scale uh, transformation Spider Man will be produced in one third scale, but with a very limited uh, edition size of just 20 pieces. Next, we have more teaser for this upcoming Del Otto Spider-Man. I think the full reveal will be very soon since it kind of looks like it's pretty much done. Next, this pretty massive Venom just landed at the Painter Studio and we'll probably see the prototype soon. Next, we have a full reveal for this Phoenix Force Captain America. Pre-order isn't open yet and probably won't be open anytime soon. Next, we have another work in progress for a different Incredible Hulk. I think this one will have an Ultron Sentry related base or theme due to the Hulk is already holding a, a Sentry head. And I'm very interested in this one for sure because I do collect Avengers that are on Ultron related bases. Next, this She-Hulk just got printed. Honestly, looks pretty good. Definitely one of the best She-Hulk that has been revealed this year or I think this was revealed last year. Next, we have more photos of this Liono. Pre-order is open for this one and comes in two scales to choose from. Quarter scale and the infamous 1 and 3 fifth scale. It also comes with other versions to choose from besides the scale. Next pre-order is open for this Omni-Man, comes in two versions, the clean and the bloody version. Scope looks pretty good in my opinion. Next is we have a full reveal for this Conan the Barbarian. Comes in three portraits, two swords, two oxes, and one shield. Also, you get to choose from two bases. Either you want the one with the uh, slain or defeated monsters, or you want the simpler one which is uh, without the monsters.
Next, we have a full reveal for the prototype of this Firestorm. Loving the light out feature for sure. Pretty rare character in statue collecting. Next, we have some work in progress on the sculpt of this Luke and Leia diorama. Not a big uh, Star Wars fan though, but they definitely got the likeness right for Princess Leia. Next, we have a full reveal for the prototype of this Captain Britain. He is sculpted by Dario Martin, and although this is a prototype, the statue will only come in kits or unpainted uh, statue. It is ready to ship and has a very small edition size, making it pretty rare. Next pre-order is open for this quarter scale Spider-Man uh, frame. Honestly, don't know what to call this statue. But the concept is pretty unique and it's gonna be a very unique artwork in your home. Next, we have a work in progress on the scope of this upcoming Logan and will be part of a Logan line with a Samurai Logan and a Cowboy Logan. Next, this Logan with Wolves Diorama is also ready to ship. This is actually priced real good and short payment plans are available. Next, we have this museum type Nova that's also ready to ship. One of the better Novas out there for sure. Comes with a light up feature, and yes, short payment plans are available. Next, this Dormammu statue is ready to ship, still have a few slots left available, and short payment plans are also available. Next, we have some production sample for this pretty darn good carnage. It's almost ready to ship and the prototype definitely matches the production units.
Next, we have some work in progress on the prototype paint of the Silver Surfer. By the way, this is sculpted by Caleb Nefzen. Definitely can't wait to see it finish. Next is I'm just sharing some photos of this sold out Spider-Man. It's a pretty good museum Spider-Man and has a very low edition size of just 17 pieces. And here's a photo of what versions you can potentially paint your kit. Since this is also available as kits only. Next, we have a partial reveal of the prototype of the Silver Surfer accessory. Uh, this will house your new Sideshow Silver Surfer, the one that was sculpted by Daniel Bell. It's obviously uh, Galactus' hand. I do have this on pre-order and I can't wait uh, for the full reveal of the hand since it's supposed to be up to the uh, wrist area of Galactus. Next, we have a full reveal for this uh, Venom. I think this is the God of Light Venom. And the axe he is holding is actually Mjolnir and Silver Surfer boards uh, combined. Lastly, this Gundam statue just got printed. And it's definitely pretty impressive. Again, I can't wait to see it painted, especially with the wings on. So that's it for this week's episode. Hope you guys found something you like. And if you do, you can send me a message on my Facebook account with a screenshot of the piece you are interested in. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.